Hello there, this is Father Ken Lau, and I welcome you to the new series that I'm making called Living with the Saints. So, um, as I've said, I, I've handpicked uh, 16 saints, uh, and I'm going to feature one saint every week uh, in this coming 16 weeks. In May of 2015, a month before I got ordained, uh, I went to Poland on a pilgrimage. And uh, at that time, I was still a deacon, and I was introduced to three saints and one blessed. So, those Three saints and one blessed, those are the ones that I will feature in the first four weeks. So um, I was introduced first to St. Maximilian Kobe. All I know about St. Maximilian Kobe is that uh, he took the place of a fellow prisoner. Okay, What happened there in the Auschwitz camp in, in, in the 1940s, um, in the prisoner camp, a prisoner escaped. And because a prisoner escaped, the punishment is that the German soldier would pick 10 people to die. You know uh, of starvation and there was a, a, a family uh, man there uh, who who was begging you know to be spared and Saint Maximilian Kobe uh, a priest uh, a Franciscan priest took his place so he died out of uh, for, uh, out of starvation and I remember going to this uh, prisoner camp in Auschwitz and was able to go and see the cell where he died Okay, so that's the thing that I know about uh, St. Maximilian Kobe. Uh, reading more about his life, when he was eight years old, growing up he was very mischievous, so I, I could totally relate with him. And uh, uh, in fact, like because of his mischievousness, his mother was so upset with him and told him, Raymond, which is his name, Raymond, what will become of you? And because of that, you know, uh, he cried, you know, he went to prayer and prayed to our Blessed Virgin Mary. And in a dream, uh, the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared to him and offered him two crowns, one red and one white, okay? The white stands for martyrdom of purity, and then the red one is martyrdom of charity. And he asked Raymond, okay, uh, to choose between the two. And he said, I, chose, I, I choose the two crowns, okay? The white crown and the red crown. So, he, of course, we saw in his life, he practiced, uh, uh, practiced a life of ch chastity, and also he died as a martyr of, of charity, okay? So he was able to wear those two crowns. Uh, and uh, so another thing about uh, St. Maximilian Kobe is a great devotion to, to Mary, okay? And uh, uh, propagate the, the devotion to her. He organized this called Knights of the Immaculata, okay? And... Uh, uh, so also uh, because of that, he was into uh, the social media, okay? Uh, like he was into uh, printing. Uh, he was printing like one million magazines, you know, both in Poland and also in, in Japan, okay? And also he was into radio programming. So if St. Maximilian Kopi uh, is still living, to, is living, is living today, he's into YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, all social media platform just to evangelize people and promote, propagate the devotion to Mary. Because of her, his great devotion to Mary, he died on the eve of Assumption, okay, on August 14. Uh, and another, uh, one thing why I picked uh, St. Maximilian Kobe is that uh, I connected with him. He has uh, his, uh, we have the same uh, scripture passage, favorite scripture passage, which is Philippians 4.13. There was a lady who prophesied to me, Philippians 4.13, and has a play with the word of my name, Ken, okay? And Philippians uh, 4.13 is, I can do all things in him who strengthens me. I is Jesus, Ken, C-A-N is Ken, K-E-N. If Jesus and me are just one, we can do all things, you know, in him who strengthens me. So that's also the favorite passage of St. Maximilian Kolbe. But he added something there. He says, I can do all things in Him who strengthens me through the Immaculate. That's why for me, I also would quote also that uh, scripture passage and just add uh, through Mary, okay? And uh, so when I was there in, uh, in Poland, I requested if I could get uh, a first-class relic of St. Maximilian Kobe. And, uh, and true enough, that uh, on my ordination day, that was a gift given to me by the organizer of that pilgrimage. So I was given a first-class relic of St. Maximilian Kobe, which is his beard. And I try to wear that relic always with me, especially when I'm ministering to people, okay? 
And uh, so he, he was canonized, I think, in 1982 by Pope John Paul II. Uh, for, you, for you to get to know more about St. Maximilian Kolbe, I encourage you to read this book, uh, Kolbe, Saint of the Immaculata, edited by Brother Francis M. Calvillage. Okay? So I hope you get to know more about him. Be a living saint. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, we trust in you.